Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Underdogs, and this is a new sports comedy from director Charles Stone III, and has, it's based off of a pitch that's turned into a story. This pitch was actually from Snoop Dogg himself, who does have his own youth football league, and here he plays J, uh, JJ, who, uh, in two J's, J, uh, Jason Jennings, who is this big-time, big-personality football player, filthy rich still doing podcasts, but really doesn't have a career in football anymore, and when he's forced to do public service, he winds up taking on the job of coaching this team, and yes, is this basically just Snoop Dogg's The Bad News Bears, except for football? 100%. One of the biggest frustrating things about this is that it hits on almost every single one of those beats you can imagine. Everything, like any plot, main plot points that happen in this film, you've seen it happen a million times. But there is a charm about it. Snoop Dogg is charming, and he's hilarious. And him dropping F-bombs and mother effers and all those fun things, he definitely brings a lot of personality to this role. And then you have, like, his assistant coach, who, Kareem, who they had a connection with before and then tries to steal uh, Double J's car at the beginning, played by Mike Epps. Mike Epps is absolutely hilarious in this film as well. Him and Snoop Dogg have great chemistry. You have Tika Sumter, who plays, like, the female love interest, and I think she does a fine job with very little for her to work with. But you have all these young actors who, honestly, I think all did really good jobs here. They were able to bring personality to these characters and keep things interesting. You know, listening to kids drop, like, curse words and stuff like that, it kind of has gotten old after, you know, 45 years ago when the Bad News Bears really started doing that in the first place. And yes, this film is basically just Bad News Bears all over again especially with a lot of its beats in terms of how things play out. But it's one of those kinds of films where it's like, sure, it's on Amazon Prime, you could get some laughs out of it, it's not too heavy. Even, like, the build-up to the big game never really felt that big in this film, especially compared to things like The Bad News Bears. But this film just, you know, hits the boxes that it needs to. And Snoop Dogg's having some fun. And you can tell that he's passionate about this, like, Little League football dynamic. And, you know, he shows up, has a blast. We have a blast in some ways. And, you know, have a good time and move on. But those are my thoughts on, on The Underdogs. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.